Welcome to Bestie Book Reviews. It's just me, Mandy, today, as I wanted to do a quick video on the novella a thon that I am participating in this week. The hosts are Books with Samantha, Tiff Talks Pages, Rachel Reads and Sings, and Ava's Romance Books. And I am just loving this novella a thon. For one, if you've watched our channel very often, you know that I feel like Goodreads is a bully with their you're behind. But no, I am ahead. I've read 12 novellas so far this week. And so I'm finally pulling ahead on that good read. So I'm very excited about. That. So let me tell you about some of the books I've been reading this week for the bingo for the novella a thon. So for under 100 pages, I read Axed by Samantha Towell. It is about Axel and Eden. Axel is just out of prison, and Eden happens to be his parole officer. She was his high school crush. And to make things even more complicated than that is that several people that they went to high school with end up being murdered. I absolutely loved this one. I always like kind of that taboo romance. And even though this was under 100 pages, it was totally worth the read, but I could have read a way more in-depth story with this. For my on Kindle Unlimited read, I read Evidence of the Affair by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I loved this book. It is now like a five-star read for me and my top favorite so far of this year. Absolutely loved it. It definitely does not feel like a novella. Nothing felt rushed. It was so incredibly good. So this is letters from Carrie and David who have discovered that their spouses are cheating with each other. And it's letters back and forth. It's set in the 19th 70s, like the late 70s, 76, I think is when it starts. And they write these letters back and forth. And it is just, it's so good. I absolutely love the letter writing aspect of books when it's done well, and this is done very well. And so this definitely had me hooked from the very first letter. And oh my gosh, when it was, when I finished this book, I could not stop thinking about it. It is so good. For Monster, I read Jekyll by Zoe Blake, and this is a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde kind of uh, write. And Jekyll is a university scientist. He's trying to create a formula to give soldiers more bravery, basically. And instead of that, he unleashes Hyde, and Catherine, who is his lab assistant, gets to meet, meet Hyde. And it has some uh, very smutty scenes in it, but it was definitely a fun read. I wasn't sure I was going to like it, but I actually ended up really enjoying this one. For holiday, I listened to the Audible short, uh, A Vineyard Valentine by Nina Boshi. And this is about Eloise who runs a vineyard. She's very anti-Valentine's Day. And she decides that her best friend also helps her with the vineyard is doing like this big Valentine's Day party type thing to get people to come to the vineyard. And she decides to host um, another event, which is an anti Valentine's Day event. And at this event, she meets a very handsome man that she calls Mr. Chardonnay. So it is a great listen, pretty short, but really fun, especially for the Valentine's Day holiday. So for favorite trope on the bingo board, I read Big Brain by Cassie Mint. This is a forbidden love, semi-age gap, professor-student romance, and I absolutely love these when they're done right. This was a super fun, quick read. Um, this is about Angie and her professor, Murno, Murano, Murano, I think is how you would say his name. And he has become kind of a celebrity on campus. She knew him before this, but now he's kind of the celebrity on campus because he has his own TV show and he's written some books. So he's becoming quite famous. And he offers Angie an opportunity to go to Scotland with him to film. And from there, the story begins. So I still have a few things on my bingo board that I need to fill. So for part of a series, I am going to read I Do Babe by Tilly Cole. This is part of the Hang Hades Hangman series. This is book 5.5 on her website. This one is hard to find. It's not on Amazon. I had to hunt this one down. Um, this is about May and Sticks, and I, uh, as you can see, it is going to be about their wedding, and it looks like Sticks is kind of dealing with some things with his stutter and wanting to be able to 
speak clearly up uh, you know, for their wedding for May. So I'm really excited to read this. It looks pretty short. And I also am excited to read this to get back into the Hades Hangman series because I definitely want to be finishing that. For my BIPOC author, I am reading Heartless by Daniel Allen. I am so excited to read this one. It looks really good. This is about a guy who apparently has never been with the same woman twice. I'm just going off with a back blurb says, but this got me hooked. He's expecting like a, are you up type text? And instead he gets the text that says I'm pregnant. So I'm very excited to read that one. And then for Alien on the bingo board, I'm going to read Hold by Claire Kent. That's my alien recommendation from Jessica. Um, she tells me this is about a girl who or a woman who is on this other planet and she gets thrown into prison and they tell her find like the baddest toughest guy down there and make friends with him and that's your best hope of surviving so she does that and jessica says this is the story of how they start planning their escape so i'm excited to read this one i'm not a huge alien romance fan but i am excited to read this one for the red or pink cover, I am reading Cupid's Peak, which is the group read. I just started this. This is about Mia, and she is very reserved. She's not really a people person. She'd rather just kind of stay home. Her sister's the opposite of her. So her sister sets her up on a blind date. And one thing to know about Mia is she still has a big crush on this guy that she used to tutor in high school, Eli. Eli is now a famous hockey player and she watches him on TV. And when she gets to this blind date, her sister set her up on, it is none other than Eli. It has been a blast reading these short stories this week. I have really enjoyed it. So Jessica and I are going to put out a novella video recommendation for you guys on the 18th of this month. So make sure you check back to find that video. And until then, go read.